This is Sonic, and you're watching JD Frank 20. What is up, everybody? We got some Sega news. Let's kick this off. Sonic Superstars has won Future Division Award in the Japan Game Awards. Two years in a row, a Sonic game is winning the award for the most anticipated game. Fantastic, huh? And then, of course, let us remind you that just three days ago, Sonic Frontiers won an excellent award. What a week. So, yes, yeah, stay tuned for more Sega news. Absolutely. Like, Sonic Superstars right now is, is being highly anticipated as it should be. You know, at first, a lot of you uh, naysayers out there were saying, oh, this game doesn't, it's not worth the $60, it's not worth the hype. Look, you can believe whatever you want to believe, but again, I, I, said to my, I said to everyone, wait till Tokyo Game Show, because that is when Sega pulls out all the big guns. They show you a prologue, which the prologue was fantastic. They showed off more stuff, more exclusive merchandise. They had an entire uh, booth, they had an entire ev event surrounded Sonic Superstars, plus other Sega intellectual properties, plus the balloon alone looks fantastic. I mean, look at the balloon right here. It's not just a classic Sonic balloon, it's a classic Sonic balloon with Amy Rose, Knuckles, and Tails. I mean, how much cooler can that be? You know, like I said, I mean, Sonic, you know, like this whole w entire week for Sega has been a huge win. It's all about marketing Sonic the Hedgehog all over the globe and in the e and winning the hearts of Japanese gamers is a huge victory and winning these legitimate awards is fantastic I mean again not too long ago Tomoya Otani uh, who's in this picture by the way won his award obviously for the soundtrack and then of course uh Morio Kishimoto won his award a few days ago which is fantastic for Sonic Frontiers you know and then of course right here you know you know, Superstars wins an award here. And by the way, the award shows here in, Jap in Japan have more credibility than any crap award you win here in the United States. Because again, I mean, the Western, uh, the West and the East, they have differences of how they handle award shows. They handle, you know, how they do things. All right. Especially when it comes to the, to the, uh, to the game awards, which are going to be hosted in December this year. And quite frankly, I don't really care about them because what's the point? They have no legitimacy. They have no credibility whatsoever. Especially for the people behind the scenes who's running this shit. You know, so again, you know, well, let's see how Sonic Frontiers and Sonic Superstars are going to get screwed over again. You know, that's what's going to happen. They're going to try to trigger the entire fan base. So we're all going to be going at war with all these other companies. Not going to happen. I'm not going to waste my time on that. You know, again, you know, Sonic right now is winning legitimate awards in Japan. And winning that market is more important than winning some shit award here in the United States. That's just what I have to say about that topic. You know, and speaking of Sonic Superstars, uh, here's a tweet from uh, from Sonic the Hedgehog's official Twitter handler that was just posted a few minutes ago. How did the mischief on the North Star Islands begin? Embark with Fang to uncover the mysteries. In the prologue chapter to Sonic Superstars, written by Ian Flynn, Fast Friends Forever Comics will return on October 23rd. Here is the screenshot right here of, of what it looks like. Fang's big break. All right, it's interesting right there. Yeah, because it'll go in in depth on how Fang uh, teamed up with Dr. Eggman. Again, the prologue really didn't answer that. The prologue just basically stated like how all three of them jo joined forces together, and obviously Trip taking uh, a lot of the, the a lot of the punishment because they had to go through a dangerous area. But then Eggman got all the answers he was looking for for the island. You know, Fang was just there for as a bot uh, as a bodyguard doing his job for the most part. Till Trip had to bail him out, but other than that. It's fantastic. I mean, Sonic Superstars is just doing everything right, the right way. When you look at the gameplay, the gameplay looks like a class, a classic Sonic game, but modernized. Again, it has the Mega Man 11 vibes. It plays like a classic game, you know, but it, but it has a modern twist to it. It's not like Sonic Mania where the game just, it's so pixelated and it just feels like a step backwards. And it's unoriginal, by the way. Eight of the zones are unoriginal. You're never going to convince me otherwise, people. So again, Sonic Superstars is just fantastic. Just having Nata Oshima and Tak Takashi Azuka teaming up together, this is what we needed all along for the Sonic the Hedgehog fan base. You know, and I couldn't be any happier right now with the direction of the company is going right now. 2023, you know, I stated at the end of 2022, I said there's no way 2023 is going to be better. Oh, the, oh, it is. You know, winning awards left and right, Sonic Frontiers, all the expansion passes we're getting, the Final Horizons coming out. You know, Superstars getting all the hype behind it. Sonic 3 movie coming out next year, pending if the strike is going to end anytime soon at the time of this recording. 
and of course more content maybe a sonic heroes remake maybe sonic adventure 1 and 2 remasters again sky's the limit sega has a winning formula again you know this whole week you know it's been extremely busy with with tokyo game show news amy rose news you know but again i love what i do here so i hope you all enjoy all this work and let me know what y'all think about this and i gotta go peace out